I just want to say that in order to be saved, you do not have to have a godly sorrow. You do not have to turn from sin. You do not have to be willing to turn from sin. You do not have to say a prayer. You do not have to confess all your sins. You do not have to be under a heavy conviction to be saved. None of those things are necessary to be saved. There's only one thing that a person must do to be saved, and that's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, period. Amen and amen. That's it. Because if there's anything I want to be clear, crystal clear on, it's salvation, it's faith, it's repentance. I want to just be totally crystal, crystal, child-friendly clear. Just as dumbed down as I can get, just put the cookies on the bottom shelf so everybody can get one clear. Amen? Where the rubber meets the road, clear. Just crystal, simple, clear. Crystal clear, right? Crystal clear. Okay, now I want you to watch this. You have to be willing to turn from your sins. Not so clear anymore, is it? Uh, you have to have a godly sorrow. Not so clear anymore, is it? You have to turn from all your sins. Man, you might as well just shoot the whole, dump the whole bottle in there. Man, you just put the whole bottle in there. You got to be willing to turn. You got to turn from your sins. Now the water's really muddy, right? Uh, I don't even want to be friends with somebody who muddies the, the waters of salvation. I, I really, honestly, I, I'd rather be friends with a lost Catholic. Then somebody who's a believer in mud in, in muddies John three sixteen. Now is that confusing at all? That's crystal clear, right? And that's the way I want to keep it. 